Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound Studio B. You know, the most requested articles on Cinema Sound have to do with 5.1 or surround mixing and that kind of thing. Where to put things? How do we set up things? And the most uh, requested article in that forum is where do we put our speakers? And I know that a lot of the people that are checking that out aren't audio people at all. They just want to know where they put their home speakers. But that's the legitimate, you know, a legitimate concern. So uh, here's how it goes. Your listening environment needs to have speakers that are equidistant from the listeners. The greater the listener sweet spot, the greater the difficulty in making that happen. For example, if you have a single person sitting on a couch, it's very easy to be able to just you know, say how far away is the center speaker, and now let's just draw a circle around uh, the radius of that so that all the speakers are in the same, and then you're good. But if you have her and him and more, each one of those spaces needs to also have equidistant speaker placement around them. And that's almost impossible to do, especially as you get into surround levels like 7-1, 11-1, and even higher. So what we need to do for the basics is establish how far away the speakers need to be from the sweet spot in the middle. Let's say for random figures, it's 10 feet. If you have your listener at 10 feet from the center speaker, then it also stands to reason that the next speaker over, the right speaker or the left, needs to also be 10 feet. Now, for those of you who have done geometry, you know that that means that they cannot be in a straight line in front of the TV or the screen. That would mean that the center speaker is actually closer and the left and right speakers are farther, which means that the left and right speakers are not only quieter, but they're also, that audio is hitting the listener late, which further exacerbates the problem. Now, your surround speakers needs to be the same distance, equidistant, 10 feet from you. Now, where you put them is a matter of choice. You can put them where Dolby wants you to have them, which is sort of over here at the side, or where I think you should have them, which is directly opposite and perpendicular uh, in a line to the other speakers that are in the front. So the right surround faces the left speaker, and the left surround faces the right speaker, and you get this nice, cool cross across. Your subwoofer, same thing. Even though a lot of people put it on a wall or in a corner, again, needs to be equidistant or it becomes too soft or the audio hits the uh, listeners late. So somewhere in that circle. Now, you can put it behind if you want. It's just a little weird. Just as long as it's equidistant. The same thing happens in 7-1 for the side fills. They need to be 10 feet and 10 feet. The issue comes, however, as soon as you get more than one person on that couch, the side fills basically get blocked. So the lady on the right, she gets a lovely uh, entertainment from the rightmost mid side speaker, but then her buddy, who's sitting on her left, completely blocks the mid side speaker that's on the left, right? He gets that entertainment and it totally blocks her sound. So one of the things that I do is move those mid side speakers forward about 10 degrees so that they're coming a little bit more frontally than direct side and we miss that, you know, buddy sitting next to me blockage of high frequencies. So that's the general gist in 5.1 and 7.1. The primary thing is keep all of your speakers at the same distance to, e to you, not to each other. Now to that end, you want to have a magic triangle. The magic triangle is also equidistant to themselves. And what do I mean by that? That means that the left and the right speaker are equidistant to themselves as you are to them. And that helps you triangulate where those speakers should be so that they drop right in so that they are equidistant to themselves and equidistant to you so that you don't just have them too far out. Because if you have speakers and left, if you have left and right speakers or surround speakers that are too far out, uh, if you're mixing, that means that your mixes will end up being mixed mono. <laughs> if you're listening, that means that everything will seem way too wide and there won't be much in the middle except for that weird center speaker. So be sure that your sur surround speakers are equidistant to themselves and to you, like a nice perfect triangle, and your left front and left right are equidistant to themselves and to you, and all speakers are equidistant to you, and you're going to have yourself a great surround setup. Let us know what your problems are, if any, in your home setup or in your studio setup on the cinemasound.com forum, and we'll do our best to see if we can resolve them for you. Until then, we'll see you in the theater.